If your immigration case is based on marriage, in order to get approved, you have to show that your marriage is based on a relationship that is true and genuine. It's the real deal. It's from the heart. And a lot of times when people are trying to prove that their marriage relationship is genuine, they're pretty confused by this and they think, well, how do I prove that my relationship is genuine? I mean, what's immigration gonna do? Are they gonna come to my house? Uh, how does this work? Let me explain. The most important thing in any kind of marriage green card situation, if you're trying to prove that your relationship is genuine, is about money. I know it seems weird, but USCIS and the immigration agencies, they wanna see that you and your spouse or your partner have joint financial arrangements. One of the most important joint financial arrangement is a joint married tax return. If you file a joint married tax return, this is a good thing. Immigration very much likes this. So the question that I often get from clients is, do I have to file my taxes jointly or can my spouse and I file our taxes separately? That is the question I'm gonna address in today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Josh Goldstein. I'm an immigration lawyer in Los Angeles. We help people across the country and around the world. And I'm the founder of Immigration Station. This is the channel for you if you're trying to get unstuck, overcome immigration hassles, and achieve your dreams and goals when it comes to US immigration. Do you have to really file your taxes jointly or can you file them separately? That's what we're gonna talk about today. In my opinion, filing your taxes jointly is extremely important if you're trying to prove that your marriage relationship is genuine. USCIS wants to see joint married tax returns. They like it a lot. They weigh it heavily in favor of you if you file your taxes jointly. If you can file taxes jointly, I highly recommend that you do this. To the extent that you file your taxes jointly, this will help you get your immigration case approved. If you file your taxes separately, then that's another matter. Why would someone want to file taxes separately from their spouse? Why would that be so important? Well, let's say that your spouse owes a lot of money in back taxes. And let's say furthermore that you are expecting a refund on your taxes. Well, if you file your taxes jointly with your spouse, they're gonna take your money and you're gonna be stuck in this arrangement with your spouse. And if you file separately, you can preserve your refund. There may be a strong financial reason for you to file separately. Filing your taxes jointly is not a legal requirement. You're not required to do this. It's possible for you to get your marriage-based green card case approved even if you file separately. It's possible for you to overcome filing separately by showing other things. Maybe you can show photos together. Maybe you have children together. Maybe you have other joint financial arrangements together. Maybe you own a home together or you have joint credit cards, joint bank accounts. Maybe you've traveled together. There may be ways to overcome filing separately, but just like anything else, it's a discretionary factor. I have advised clients to go back and revise their old separately filed taxes so that they can jointly file. So it's a judgment call on your part. Bottom line, if you can file jointly, I strongly encourage you to do so. If you have to file separately, keep in mind you can overcome it but you're gonna to need to work on that with evidence. Hope that helps. What questions do you have about filing your taxes for a marriage-based green card case? Put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.